Hi, I'm uh, Brett Knight. I'm a network engineer, and I've uh, developed a website that is, um, offers tips, tools, and suggestions to network engineers, focusing um, purely on IP multicasting. Um, as a network engineer, I've implemented lots of different technologies, and IP multicasting was one that is unique in that um, application support folks, vendors, and, and um, even in-house staff in, the, in my main customer a lot of times have problems with IP multicasting. Generally look to the network um, team members, network engineers like myself in order to troubleshoot and to um, determine the cause of those problems. Oftentimes, most often, say 95% of the time, the problem is not with the network IP multicast, but with the application that's running on the end devices or maybe a server or some other um, point along the way where troubleshooting the network is actually the wrong way to start. So um, in my attempt to uh, troubleshoot these things, I've often wanted an easy to use um, multicast testing tool. There's always snipper captures and um, um, IP multicast testing that can be done um, inside the network and electronics to verify that multicast is passing properly. But all those things never seem to make the application folks happy. All they want is their stuff to work, which I want to help them with. So um, along the way of doing this, I decided to go ahead and put up a multicast testing site. I have some uh, multicast tip site. And I do have some, uh, I have a website, ipmulticasttools.com, where I've been blogging about different multicast uh, testing setup experiences I've had. I even provided some configurations, um, some research and study that I've done, ultimately leading up to me creating a um, IP multicasting um, software tool, which is basically just a multicast chat client. So this client can be loaded onto um, workstations um, throughout a network, and I can simply communicate, as in this example here, I have a drawing of a basic network. <clears throat> now let's just put, we got a client up here on this device. Let's use a different color to make this easier to see. There's a client here. It'll be a sender. And it's going to send on a multicast group. Let's just say 1.1.1. All right, so there will be interested um, receivers somewhere through the network that can be located in this particular case this sender is connected to let's say router A ultimately and the receiver down here the receiver that's also part of the same is listening for items sending out on this group and keep in mind there could be multiple receivers spread out through the network that should be receiving anything that this thing's sending because they're all part of this, this same group. Alright, so whatever, lots of applications use this, a lot of voice over IP systems that use multicasting for the music on hold. Um, I've worked with customers who were vendors for my primary customer who needed to use, um, they had IP security cameras and the security um, station wherever those reside in the supervisor's office or possibly even in the security office themselves, if they needed to view more than one camera or one more than one camera at a time, or one workstation need excuse me, several workstations needed to view one camera at a time, it'll turn into a multicast and send it out to everywhere that needs it. Alright, so if for some reason that's broken or doesn't work throughout the process of the end station client or possibly even with the server, we can troubleshoot it as a help them to, to steer away from it being a network problem by simply installing this multicast, multicast jack client on any one of these locations and just send us in a message, you know, you know, test one from the PC on router A, it routes through, and ever all the um, end stations the receivers on B or down on D, they all receive the same message and all these can reply and everyone 
all the technicians or engineers at every one of these locations know that multicast is flowing from one point of the network all the way to the other. There's configuration steps that has to take at every link and every VLAN along the way in order for multicast to pass properly. As long as that's all set up, there really should never be any problems with it, but we still oftentimes are pulled in to, to work on that. My um, <coughs> chat client tool is available on my website for download, and also all the tips and advice on how to set up a network like this, or even a deep dive into specific, specific configuration commands you need for a Cisco environment are also available on my website. <coughs> and um, other um, general networking information. I've been posting items now since February, so I've built quite a, um, a catalog of good information there for people to check out. I actually have my website hooked into uh, Google Analytics, so I have some analytic information from my website that I would also like to share, and I will do that later on in the video. Once again, I'm um, Greg Knight. I'm a network engineer, and I do have a IPMulticastTools.com as an available place for network engineers. With that, um, I'll turn you over to some of my documentation. Thanks. All right, this is the um, opening page of my website. Basically, explains um, why I'm interested in IP multicasting and kind of introduces the website and the blog and the information that I'm going to have on there. It even foreshadows the fact that there will be a, um, a testing tool that did come true and is now available on the website. This is the multicast chat client um, that I um, published, uh, now available on my website. But with this, you can simply install it. You can see it's simple. You enter a text string in. You enter it in, it shows in the first line there, it shows where it's coming from. And in this scenario here, I've um, replied from two other locations. All locations receive the same update as the others all at one time using my team multicast. Great tool for testing. All right, the next few images are kind of screens from my Google Analytics uh, that are connected to my IPMulticastTools.com. Show the dashboard, uh, shows the type of traffic I've been, the amount of traffic I've been getting. Um, since February and also transition into um, where the traffic is coming from, what visitors, number of visitors and from where. And this right here um, shows if you do a Google search um, using uh, you know just Google and type in do a search for IPMulticastTools.com I'm consistently ranking in the um, top five searches for that I believe my domain name, IPMulticastTools.com, gives me an edge. But I am in there, in the search, I come up in a search with Cisco Systems, um, Microsoft, um, those two sharing one or two of the hits, and then Wikipedia. And then sometimes I'm fifth, sometimes I'm third, and this screenshot right here, I actually happen to be second. Anyway, that's my project, and I thank you for um, hearing me out and reviewing my documentation on ipmulticasttools.com please visit, visit often and leave me a comment and if you feel it to be helpful please uh, download the um, chat client thanks